Hey y'all, it's your girl Jazzy and we're back with another video. Hey, back with another video. Hey, back with another video. Hey, we're back with another video. Hey. And Q, voiceover Jasmine. Hey y'all, hey. Ooh, we here. We back. We getting back on track <laughs> like we never left. So listen, right? One of the issues that I have been facing with doing voiceovers is my voice. Like to do a voiceover, your voice need to be sounding somewhat voicey, right? Right now, mine is sounding real scratchy. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it, but we gonna push on through, all right? So um, this play with me, I guess, or a setup. I think it's called a setup with me i think that's what we're calling it okay i think that's what we're calling it um child i quickly forgot that i even recorded that i did the monthly because <laughs> see i thought i pushed forward without doing it because i had um went on ahead and did the days and the date dots that you saw <clears throat> excuse me i had did the days and the date dots already um off camera because typically i fast forward through that but i haven't did one in so long and the reason why i fast forward through it or i like skip over it is because i show the kit first so y'all i apologize for not showing the kit first um i'm gonna have in the cards where the um the um what is that thing called um, my monthly setup, not monthly setup, my monthly kit lineup where I do showcase the full kit um, as well because I don't think the haul video with this is, I'm done editing it yet. Like I got like two months worth of hauls that I still need to edit. Um, so um, the, e, hold on, I'm trying to take notes here. The card for that video will be up okay but this is the dash of sun kit um it's the sunflower kit child i don't even remember the name of it like i don't put everything up oh it's called stand tall it's a sunflower kit i think september is the best month for sunflowers me personally um i did see where like they can go all the way into october depending on um where you're at in the country and everything but i think september is the perfect place for these i think last year i did some in september as well okay so um yeah i just wanted to apologize for not showing that um so this right here is really going to be kind of like a life update you know we're going to go over a couple of things um i'm also going to like talk about where i'm placing stuff as we talk but yeah this is a video um I don't think I've done a plan with me in a couple of months um, for several reasons, which I will be sharing. Um, but yeah, so like I just want to give a life update with what's been happening with me, okay? Um, first of all, the summer blues hit me so hardcore. Like, I don't know, like the beginning of the year, the winter blues, um, do they hit me hard as well. But I'm able to push through with my planning. Summertime, and maybe because the kids are out. Um, I really don't know. And then, yeah, I was sick, um, lost my voice for like two weeks, like no voice at all for two weeks. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, I think with a mix of all of it being in the planner funk and then the summer blues, um, just kind of had me so thrown off that like in my monthlies, I did June. I didn't do July or August. I, no, I did July. I didn't do July. I didn't do August. And in my planning, child, I think the last week that I set up was our anniversary week. And that was um, July 22nd. Okay. So, like, I didn't lay down not one spread. Okay. Not a one. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I just... And, this is one of the reasons why I love undated planners because, like, I was able to just pick back up and that next month is going to be um, July. I mean, it's going to be September because it's undated. So, like, I'm able to do what it is. Like, I'm able to make the months what I need them to be for me, you know? 
but I digress on that but yeah between the kids being out for the summer um myself being sick other family health issues and everything just th threw me off more than what I was anticipating to the point where it's like girl you was like two months behind and just laying down stickers and we're not even gonna talk about how far I'm behind I am with the actual writing out um, my scriptures and Bible journaling and everything like that is just it's sad but <clears throat> I had to get over it move on and just start you know I had to just start where I'm at um so yeah so that is what we are doing as we get back in the hang of things now real quick I want to talk about the kit all right now those dash of sun i do pr for dash of sun um and we like i, I pr for her um so that information to be down in the description box you can use jasmine 10 to save 10 percent. you can click the link that'll also help me i believe that's considered affiliate link like if you click it that'll help me within itself i think yeah, I think so. Like, without you even checking out, just you going to check out the shop will help me, okay? But Dash of Sun is the first shop that I saw that did the extended washi. Um, I did get that. Now, the extended washi is more so intended for people that use um, a 7 by 9 planner. So, it could go from edge to edge on one sheet on a 7 by 9 But I use a B6, um, and next year I'll be using an A5. <clears throat> I'm seven by nine or A5 wide. I'm sorry. Um, next year I'll just be using a regular a regular A5, and then I use a B6. But I still wanted to see how the extended washi will work for me in this particular planner. And then what I ran into because the washi is extended, um, my foil overlay that I wanted to put on there that was not extended, so I had to pull from another section. Okay. Now, also with it being extended, I mean, I knew it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna work for me. No way. For this particular piece, I don't know if you paid attention at the top part where I put September. I was able to fill that whole section up up there with that piece. No problem. I did cut it and had to move it over to the other sheet. If any of that makes sense, like over like above six, day six and day seven. Um, but yeah, with the foil, those sheets are not extended, so you won't be able to use just one full length washi for those. You will have to cut into your second one for those that do use the seven by nine and the um, A5 wide size planners. Okay. For me, with my little my little small size planners, that's I have to cut it anyway, regardless. So it don't matter to me. But just in case if it does matter to somebody else, um. So yeah, um, I am loving being on, um, the PR team. That was I had only placed one order with her and i was just asking which i've asked a couple of shops you know what is it that you're looking for um with your pr people to even see if it's something that's a fit for me you know i do know that i consider myself newer in the planner community compared to some of the heavy hitters that's out here so i do like to know um what it is that they're looking for because see if posting every day is a requirement i can't I know that's not something that I'm able to do. You know, if you're having meetings once a month um, or whatnot, not that I know that these are things that are done. I'm just saying, you know, I can't say that that's something I can do because my life, you know, it's busy. It's, we're a family of seven and, you know, my my we my great-grandmother's moved in, you know, helping with her and everything. It just, I don't have the time you know so i just like to know what shops will you know what they what they look for um so just chatting with her you know asking her that you know she shared you know she don't look for numbers you know she just look for people that care and you know like the product and it's not so silly she doesn't want it to be like you're just selling bye 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 she wants you to genuinely enjoy using her products you know so just general conversation was having with her and <clears throat> come to find out when she when she added me to the group for the PR people, I was so ecstatic, so ecstatic. So it's definitely a blessing. Um, I think it's Chelsea. 
I'm horrible with names, y'all. Chelsea, I'm so grateful. And thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. This has been a blast. And then get to getting to be on the team with some of the women that's on here. Danny with a plenty. Um, um, Chelsea, um, Mariah, that's in perfect plans. Um, not Chelsea child, Cassie, Cassie is sweet, like honey plans. Like these are some people that I've been watching for a while, you know, and to be able to be on the team with them and get their insight and, you know, how they plan and how they analyze kits and stuff, child is a blessing to me. Okay. It's a blessing for me. Now, <clears throat> I done ran my mouth and skipped over that whole little situation that just took place right there, right? So that particular sheet of washi that's next to that doll, that doll is from Verse Planning. I also PR for them, been PR for Verse Planning for some years now, Jazzy 15 to save. Um, that's not an extended washi. If it, I will have one that's going to be extended later on, and you'll be able to see the difference. This one didn't go from, um, top to bottom um, with it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, what else we going to talk about? What else we going to talk about? Um, Y'all, and watching me, like, watching me, like, editing the plan with me, Child, I was moving so slow, like I had all the time in the world. There was no care at all. Like I wasn't thinking about the camera. I wasn't thinking about how my voiceover gonna go. I was just I was just getting my stuff together, planning away, taking my time with my stickers, just like you know, really enjoying what I'm doing. And I'm so happy for me for that. Like, it's been a minute since I've been able to just get back to enjoying planning, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I really, really loved it. Now, I wasn't doing videos last year, but last year, for one, I was in a different planner. I was in like a planner that was a 7 by 9 size, vertical weekly. Um, I was still doing my scripture writing. Um, that's where my decorating was coming into with my scripture writing planner. Um, but I was for sure using more of the boxes, the box style. I wasn't doing this journaling kit style planning, which the journaling kit style was not even really in then, but I knew that's what I needed. Okay. That's what I needed for my planning. And I am so loving the decorative kits is what they're calling them. They call them decorative kits. I call them journaling kits, <laughs> but um, I'm really enjoying those. Enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. Yeah, we just go say it like that because y'all see, y'all hear my voice acting crazy. Um, I'm enjoying those um, and just doing the different layering and stuff. And like, I really be surprising myself. Like, girl, you came up with that. Like, you thought to lay all that down like that. Wow, you did that, sis. But then I'd be right here like, oh, I can't junk journal. When essentially junk journaling is just turning this up to the max, I think. I think. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. I got me some little notes so I don't get off track here. So I'm going to try to stay within my notes, okay? Even though I don't lost my notes five, six times already. Um, but yeah, I am really loving just watching how like my mind works when it comes to layering um the stickers and utilizing them now something i do need to realize like i need to be mindful with my spending um for one i asked hubby to watch me and help me with that and he is a hardcore budgeter child he be looking at the accounts a couple of times a day all right and uh i i realized that when it comes to me buying the kits and stuff I over buy I over buy because I can get just the journaling kit itself I don't need the boxes especially with the decorative kits they have they so far I think every shop has had has a page that mirrors the full boxes on the weekly kit I don't need it like I don't need both kits and I just have to get out of that mindset of lack um, and understand, like, 
first of all, I don't need any of it. I just want it. But understand that I don't need all of it, you know. So that's, you know, something that I am coming to a realization for it with y'all as I move into my um lineup for 2025 right and I'm so proud of myself I got that all figured out y'all I got it all figured out but we're gonna backtrack real quick um if y'all saw the green strip that's on this page here um that was from an extended washi sheet so you see how it goes from top to bottom across the full page I love that. But then you see the um foil, the like sunflower washi strip that I use did not. I ain't gonna say I don't love it, but um that is a dilemma that you're gonna run into. Um I'm pretty sure the shops are going to start offering the extended foil option if you need, um, so you can combat that slight issue there okay now with whatever stickers and foil sheets you may already have all you're gonna have to do is just snip or if you have like the washi size and the header size you just use get get i would get a couple of pieces from the header that that's what i would personally do okay don't let it you know throw you off too much and be too um down about it we got to use what we have um utilize the, the things that we have because we could do it we're creative people you know and we can we can make it happen all right <laughs> now um that yellow gingham was from paper trail plans it is on now they don't upgraded their washi sheet their washi paper since but that's the washi paper that's my first time using that one um and i'm very happy that i did get it i think i got it in all the colors i haven't gotten any more because i'm like i need to use the ones that i have to see if they're going to work for me before i overbuy being mindful ghosts are for me yes <laughs> um so i can be mindful um if i do like them now the only thing that i'm learning is how to rip the paper so i don't have that free edge so if y'all got some suggestions for me I'll let your girl know help your girl out here okay um so yeah um now real quick we're gonna go into these dolls um i love the the depth and the darkness the deepness of this particular doll because some of the the floral florals in this kit are have that deeper color in there and because it's just a hint of that deep color um what i did was wanted to highlight it with the dolls use the dolls to help bring that color out so um if you remember on the first page where i used the doll at the verse planning doll she had that deep color in there and on the monthly the stick with katie doll had that deep color on there just to pull those out okay um but yeah so when it comes to the type of stickers that's being used um i think next year i'm kind of at an impasse because next year i will be using the rosy life planner um i did win that that will be coming up i'm hoping to have the haul video up before the end of the week um, but that will be in my haul video and it's going to be in my 2024 lineup video, which will be done real soon, probably within the next month or two, because, um, y'all ain't about about your planners. I'm not doing that to myself this year, doing it to me, you know, but, um, with the Rosie Life Planner, um, it's not Tomo River paper. It is a 80 GSM, um, paper and, I am first I was kind of iffy about it but I'm loving like the pen test and stuff the bleed through is nowhere near as much or the ghosting is nowhere near as much as the Tomo River paper um for one it's a little thicker it's still thin but it's a little thicker also but this particular planner it has a vertical weeks in there and I don't know if I will be okay with like I know with the decorative kit because it has the vertical weeks and then it has daily pages and I know with the decorative kit I'm it's more than enough for me to use on the dailies but I don't know if I could use the daily the monthly and the weekly for some of them so we're gonna have to see um so it's kind of making me skeptical to get any more kits before the end of the year 
um, because I'm not, I don't want to get something that I'm not going to use, you know, that's just a waste. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to kind of game plan with that. I should try to go ahead and do a couple, do like a week or two, um, with kits I already have to see how I like it, but I'm a little nervous to do that. I'm a little nervous. Y'all know how it is, a new planner, and you just don't want to mess it up, quote unquote, mess it up. So, yeah, but then my other planner, um, I'm going with a Stayology. Stology? I call it Stayology. But it's Stology. No why. No why now. Well, no why after the A. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I am going to do a Bible in the year. And I believe I'm going to get that one in an A5 as well. I've been loving the B6. Right now, my dilemma is, do I do A5 or do I do B6? Y'all let me know what y'all would do in the comments. A5 or B6, but the Stylogy is going to be what I, that's going to be my only planner that I'm buying, okay? And then I have my Hobonichi A6 um, daily that I got in the middle of the year, but I will be redating it for the rest of, um, for 2025, um, because this is now my everyday carry, and I will be flip-flopping between that and in my um sterling ink in two week this and two aka week size planner um i stopped using that in the middle of the year because it was too it was just too big i needed something smaller but when i get to where i do need something bigger i'll be flip-flopping back and forth from that planner to this one so i'm not going to be getting any other one and i love that the now the a5 that i have the rosy life planner it is only half a year um, so we'll see how that works. And then the second half of the year, either I'll get the second half or I'll just get another planner that works for me. And by then, even if it's a full year planner um, for 2025, it would be at a more affordable price because half the year gone, child, half the year gone. It is what it is at that point. I mean, I'm okay with that. I really am. I'm okay with that because I don't want to go and buy 50 million planners and end up only using one or two. That ain't what we're doing. That ain't how we operate and that's just not, that's not how we work in next year, okay? We are being more mindful with our spending and this hobby because it can get very pricey if we're not careful, okay? So, technically speaking, I'm only buying one thing for 2025. Yay me. Very happy for that, okay? Um... Now, um, I keep talking about this haul video. I'm hoping to have that up and done, done and up by the end of the week. Um, and yeah, yeah, um, I am, I'm trying to use more dolls and me using what I have because I've been buying dolls, but I ain't been using dolls. So, like, it's a give and take here. I got to put some down in my planner to make room for the ones that I want to come in. And, yeah. Yeah, it's a give and take here. So, we got to um, utilize some of those. Now, I am going to two planner events. I'm, well, one this year. The next one, the other one is next year, but it's at the beginning of the year. So, we got to prepare for it now. Um, and that's going to be CPC, Chicago Planner Conference. And I have mixed feelings. Like, I'm nervous but excited. Mixed feelings in a good way. Because I'm nervous and excited. But, like, that's my first one, like, real out of state, out of state. I went to Gallantown with the plan this year for the first time. But that's just Georgia, child. My mama lived in Georgia. I live in Florida. It was like a seven-hour drive. That ain't out of state, out of state. Child, Chicago. It's Chicago. That's far. And I think that's going to probably be the farthest that I have went since being married without my husband. Okay? So, yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. Um, I do have a planner buddy and super excited. Why is the camera? Oh, yeah, this is when the camera started. Y'all, I apologize. I don't know why it was moving. Like, I don't know what it was doing. What was it thinking? Why are you doing that? And then I was so into what I was doing, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just moving and grooving. Moving and grooving. <laughs> but yeah, I do have a planner buddy. 
I need to do better at reaching out with her to her. Like, child, I got 50 million questions about these like workshops and this make and take and this stuff. So I need to be reaching out to her this week for her to hold my hand in this process of this, you know. But a lot of my planner friends are going. So, like, I'm just excited for that. But, like I said, I'm nervous. I am a little nervous. But, you know, it's always a good time. It's always a good time. Um, I went to SGS last year. But that was here. That was right in Orlando. That's like 45 minutes from me. That ain't but a skip and a hop. But I did meet some planner friends that are here close to me. So, yeah, that was really, really exciting. So, yeah, that um, um, is coming up. So, between those two events and needing to, like, save money for that and Advent season and saving money for that, child, your girl, your girl been struggling. And these shops, they ain't been letting up. They have not let up. Like, why y'all wait till this time of the year? to like put out some like irresistible kids like why y'all do that to us that ain't nice we ain't did nothing to y'all like we are fellow faithful patriots to y'all and then y'all put out all these bomb behind kids y'all got all y'all anniversary sales and birthday sales and all these other sales going on with 30 plus percent off 40 percent off and we ain't supposed to be tempted to buy it's so wrong Y'all do us so wrong. Y'all be getting my money. And, uh, yeah. Like, y'all be like, show me your money. And I be like, yay. Just giving it to y'all. I can't be doing that. I can't be doing that. And I got all these kids. And I talk about me having a lot of kids. And I know some of y'all got way more than me. But I got all these kids that I need to use. And the shops just keep putting out more. Like, the shops be designing, okay? They be designing, and it all be so bomb dickety. And I just need y'all to, like, figure it out. Like, y'all don't go on vacation. Like, y'all don't take a pause. Like, no, y'all don't. I think we'll be okay if y'all did, though. I know I would be okay if y'all did. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But now we're coming down to the end, y'all. Now, I will say when it comes to weekly kits, because of this style of planning, I struggle with how I use that bottom washi. And what be happening with the weekly kits, the bottom washi be what be it that's what be getting me. The bottom washi be selling me to get this whole kit. No, and I ain't got no plan of that. Can utilize that bottom wash. <laughs> no, and I don't. But I do love, like, when I try to figure out how I'm going to use it, the way I end up using it. Um, Like, y'all saw a quick glimpse of the anniversary. Like, the way I used the bottom washi there, I thought that was super cute. And then I have some other ones that I use bottom washi for. And I just use it just as that, bottom washi. And after I add, like, my writing and stuff, it turns out gorgeous. Um, I've done the bottom washi. I had some at the bottom, some at the top. But y'all know, y'all know, y'all be killing it with the bottom washi. And you know what? I haven't even looked at the A5 planner, the weekly, to see how that bottom washi going to work. Which see that bottom washi gonna be a struggle too, cause it go this these weeklies go all the way down to the brim. Well, it wouldn't be the brim if it's the bottom. Hmm. It go all the way down to the bottom, so like I would have to just cover that up, maybe. Yeah, but I look forward to like figuring it out and seeing like where my creativity takes me, cause I really be surprising myself. And it just makes me happy. Like, who would have thought something, just some stickers and, and like, what make me as happy as it do now. Shiny things should make everybody happy. Everybody should be happy to see shiny things. But who would have thought sticker? Well, the sticker's got shiny stuff on it. The sticker's got the foil on it. And then these dolls, like, I feel like all my sheets, all my spreads have to have dolls. Like... I feel like it's a must. Like, it's a must. Unless I'm going to do, like, some memory 
and using the using pictures and stuff for memory but yeah i really be feeling like it's a must for me to have dolls but yeah like child i lost my train of thought i was talking about the bottom washing yeah i just like how i ended up using it that's we just gonna we gonna go with that i like how i used it um and like i said this was extended washi and because i used it regularly in the planner it really didn't make a difference for me i do like how i have such a thicker piece left over because then that piece would be pretty good to use in my a6 like not thicker but longer piece left over that'd be good to use in my a6 so i'm gonna go with that um and figure that out um, oh, also, I think I'm going to start doing, um, like, set up my A6. I've been watching videos on the A6 size. And what a lot of people do is, because that, that planner doesn't necessarily have stickers in it. But for people that do, quote, unquote, decorate it, put, like, some on the page to keep it cute, they do it for the entire month. Because it's so small, typically it's more of a functional planner. Or like a to-do list you can't have too much on the page covered up so it's like maybe one or two stickers to just add a little pizzazz to it so I think I'm gonna start doing a video with that that may be like a monthly video that I do where I set that up for the entire month um, yeah I'm gonna explore that option and then a while ago I was talking about doing like a um, I know Jessica from Letters to Apollo has done it before, so I definitely want to give her her props for doing it. She's the only other planner I've seen doing it, but like um, true crime, like how I'm planning, my voiceover would be about true crime stories. So I'm working on that. That will be something as well. And for those particular, um, me setting that up for the month, I think might be what I try the crew try the true crime with because that's one style of planning for the entire month whereas setting this up I do these weekly um I'm not to where I can do two true crime on a weekly basis it take a lot of research it's a lot of research to come up with like maybe 30 minutes to an hour worth of content on a true crime so I don't think I'm ready to do that yet on a weekly basis, but definitely to start out like once a month just while I get some, you know, pizzazz. Is that what I'm say? Like while I'm figuring out how to do it, how to, how to make it happen. Um, I think I'm going to do that. And what I might do is set it up like October is Halloween. So like I might do like a Halloween like killing true crime can i say that like i need to learn what words i can't say on here too unlifing i see a lot of people say unlifing unlifing um during halloween or whatnot um like thanksgiving i might do some thanksgiving you know christmas i might do a christmas something you know maybe I don't know, like January, my birthday, I might do like a, a birthday one. Like somebody that, you know, was often people on their birthday, unliving people on their birthday. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Um, I need to get me a, con like use one of these 50 million notebooks that I have for ideas and content for that as well. So um, a few people did show interest in that style of video. And it is something that's a passion of mine as well. Um, faith. And true crime are probably my two true, like, planning is a hobby, but if you notice, I'm, I'm, the bulk of my laying down stickers and setting up is really in my um, faith planner. Like, that's where it's where it comes around. So, it's more so like Bible journaling and that type of thing. Um, but it would be that and true crime. Like, if I could go to the true crime conferences and things like that, like, child, I would. Like, I just found out that they'd be having that type of thing. So, yeah. So, like, just figuring out a way to combine the two things I really like. All right? So, we're going to get ready and do a quick flip through of everything. Um, So, this is going to be... So, that was the weekly page. Um, I'm just going to do like a journal entry there on then Monday. 
I like like that layering was really cute. Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, I like how the dolls was kind of like, not dolls, the flowers was kind of like going around her. I like that. That's Thursday and Friday. Friday is probably my favorite layering day. Um, I really like how that turned out. And Saturday and Sunday are probably my um, like the overall flow of the spread. I like how those two days look together. All right, that's all. Bye.